side action, and we're just about set to kick off. Before we head down to the field with a coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Taylor has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 31-yard line. The Cougars and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. I'm sure we're going to see it again today. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled right away. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard behind the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. He lets it go. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number four, he intended to see And so it's another third down upcoming here. He zips one over to the right. Makes the catch and look out. He steps out around the 36-yard line. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Tackle right around the 26-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Caught with room to work. And he will score. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 70-yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Stoll fields at the 17. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He makes it to the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Got some open field. And he's tackled at the 41. They picked a good time to go with that call. It didn't seem like the defense was ready for it. And they'll move the chains. And down he goes at 
the 49. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick strike and he drops it. Number 16 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and two. About the 47 yard line. Anderson is waiting for the snap. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. What concentration! And he's taken down at the 32. It's first and ten. Ball in the 32. Bring him down at the 42. Out of bounds around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 46 yard line. Caught open field. And they make the stop at the 14. Great play for the offense. A great call by the offense. But the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. And now he pitches it. Tackle made at the six yard line. That makes it second and two. They'll keep it on the ground again. He's tackled at the six. need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And it pays off. Touchdown. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. run there. Taylor picks up about seven yards on the run. So at the end of one quarter, 
The Cougars in front, 14-0. We're back for more action here in quarter number two. Nice run to the outside. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. goes out of bounds at the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it fourth and four. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Tackle around the 32-yard line. And they'll take over on downs. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Here he goes. To the 20. And he's brought down at the 12-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and ten following that big run. Big play and it's first and goal. That's good for a game of yards. That makes it first and goal. And it pays off. Touchdown. was a perfectly executed play there by the offense. And the option is so tough to defend, especially right near the goal line. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Makes it to the 37. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Pass 
looks out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They come out in a five-wide set. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's level at the 46-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Makes it out to about the 46. Makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That makes it second and six. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Mike four. Let's go one more. Up the middle for a nice game. one well what do you do here Kirk it's a tough call they got stopped on third down but I'd be surprised if they didn't take another shot at it here on fourth and short Peyton is back deep to return <laughs> this punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback the Cougars offensive staff I think has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game even though he's not having great stats he's part of it and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack but this offense is still putting points on the board and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver the go-to man who's drawing so much attention it really is a decoy to open up other avenues of this offense we've seen other receivers make some plays they're running the football so it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense and who knows maybe that could open it back up for that more key receiver from their own 35 yard line first down and he's tackled after positive yardage and they may need to hurry here well you'd think so but there doesn't seem to be much urgency on the field right now got a man watch out here and he's shoved out of bounds at the 49-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's out of bounds at about the 49. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. One minute left in the first half. They'll spread the field with five wide. Let's go, let's bring it. The Cougars call a timeout. That's their second of the half. A pickup of about three. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good! Everyone's 
all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. The Tigers use their second timeout. He's going to try and scramble, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. down in the open field. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 15. We played a half of football. The Cougars in front, 24-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So... You know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. Second and 15. Ball on the 20 yard line. And down he goes at the 33. two-yard line from their own 42-yard line first down they go with a screen here and the halfbacks got it that's just a well-executed screen pass they had the blockers in front and they got it to them with room to run Out in the 
open. He's pushed out of bounds around the 36-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 36. They'll bring him down at the 22. They come out in an empty backfield. Complete across the middle, and he's taken down around the 12 yard line. That'll make it second in inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. On the run. And they make the stop at the 12. This is the ninth play of this drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He steps out around the eight-yard line. They're at the eight. It's second down. Tackle made at the one. This is the 11th play of this drive. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. Room around the corner. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. play 75 yard drive but they just get six points after failing to convert for two you know brad a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground but this time they went the entire length of the field the ball never touched the ground great execution by the quarterback and the receiver the cougars have put up 24 unanswered points one team can't do anything wrong the other team can't do anything right and here we go with the offense ready to get things going again Throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He's in trouble, and he tackles him hard at the 48. That'll make it second and long. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number eight. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Five wide. Finds his man. First down. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. Thank you. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 23. Two down, two down. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. Inside the 10, and he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 74-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Well, I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for his offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. And he hits him hard at the 32. Without a monumental comeback in the fourth quarter, this one's over. The Cougars in front, 31-6. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. He's on the run. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 46. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. of two pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call that makes it third and 11. third down and they need to get it inside the 44. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. They come out in a five-wide set.
Complete. He's got room. He's at the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 17. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 17 yard line, first down. Three down, three down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got it and brought down immediately. And this is the eighth play of the drive. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Less than three minutes in the game. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds at the 10. They'll spread the field with five wide. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys you normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. He fights forward to about the 10. From their own 10-yard line, second down. showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. He's out to the 30. Makes it to the 34. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. And the ball game's over. The Cougars come out on top, 31-6. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.